the fundamental issue right at the heart of the whole thing is that in the referendum, the British people voted clearly to leave the European Union, and you have well over 300 members of Parliament who have never accepted that decision, never want us to leave under any circumstances whatsoever, and have spent three years doing everything they can I mean, to frustrate the decision um, of the people. I mean, Mark, you know, Mark, that Mark, is the Mark, absolute heart of the matter. Mark, I love this song too, and I've heard you play it multiple times. Well, I, think there, I think there are many, there are many issues true. at hand. That One, there is a tension between direct democracy and representative of democracy and that grey area has never been sorted out by any government really? and that is a huge part of really? why we are okay, well, where hang on. we are. You remember this? This is the booklet that went through oh, every door. I love door. that you've come prepared. I oh have. my god. Well, I, I took impressed. you seriously, right? This is the booklet. He brought his own work. 9.2 million pounds <laughs> of British taxpayers' money. It went through every door in the country before the referendum. It said on the final page this is a once in a generation decision and then it said this. This is very clear English. This is your decision. The government will implement what you decide. Now, hang I on. I'm sorry. Let him finish. I'm then finished. You come I'm back. finished my homework, as you so kindly put it. Go on. Get on. This was the decision that the British people were allowed to take. They voted to leave, and people like you will never, ever accept it. Won't I? So, no. look, I voted Remain, but I also thought that a soft Brexit compromise would be legitimate because you're right, people voted to leave. But I see your leaflet and I raise you the, government the principle and I raise you the principle of parliamentary sovereignty. It's in the hands of Parliament, Who elects the parliament? to put together a deal. But look, if you're saying that parliamentary sovereignty is drawn from the electorate, it which is. I agree with, it, it means that you have to take the fact that the electorate elected a hung parliament in 2017, which is a mandate for compromise. And this is the tension I'm talking about. Well, right. It's a deep constitutional matter, they which voted, can't be resolved they voted by a leaflet with any a way you spin it. it, they voted All right, to Mark, leave. But then what about the law passed by parliament, and if you're talking about parliamentary sovereignty in a hung parliament, that is compelling the prime minister to ask the EU for an extension, should he abide by that law? Well, the law was passed by a group of MPs whose sole objective is to keep us in the European Union. Well, it was passed by Parliament. Either Parliament is sovereign or it's not. Well, ultimately, who elects these MPs? The people. It's who, sovereign or it's not. Well, who took the decision? Uh, that's the a leaflet. The, Parliament no, is sovereign or it's, it's not. No, it's not just a leaflet. It's symbolic. Sorry, it's a leaflet. No question. Right, let's open it's it up It's about here. democracy. All right.